and go to On the Road in Hampton Roads at the Conservative Coalition Cookout, Candidates Cookout and Festival. We're out here and it's a, a slightly warm July <laughs> July day here out on here on the on the on the road. I'm here with David McCormick candidate for Virginia Beach City Council. Well, thanks for having me today. It is pretty hot, 100 degrees, but there's a cool breeze coming in, so. Well, well, we're, yes, you're, there's a cool breeze. My uh, camera people behind the thing are just waving their head. No, it's yeah. not, but he's being well, very I optimistic. Th I lived in Texas 13 years, so this oh, would Texas. be a pretty cool day if you live in central Texas. Well, in Virginia yeah. Beach, it's a slightly warmer day than Texas. But, but uh, this is home for me. I've lived here 22 years, and my dad was stationed here in the Air Force. That's what they introduced me to Virginia back then when I was going to college. So that's what brought you in. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you're running for City of Virginia Beach City Council. If I'm not mistaken, isn't the City of Virginia Beach the largest uh, city in the Commonwealth of Virginia? It really is. I look forward to running. I've had a great variety of experiences, Steve. I've been a teacher, an educator, a manager, trainer. I worked in restaurants, about six of them. I had a career at United Parcel Service. I've been a teacher at Region, and I'm doing bankruptcy law now. I've done that for about 17 years. So, so uh, what is it? Uh, why run for city council? Well, I first of all, I love this area. I love people, and I think we could have a lot better government. We have to be much more thrifty with the taxpayers' uh, money, and I think we could really build uh, the economy here more and offer more. Make sure we protect safety. And we also help the teachers. Uh, I understand, though, from what you what you shared with us here, uh, is that uh, you're quite an entrepreneur. You've uh, you've done some little different things over your career. Uh, you mentioned something about United Parcel. And well, that's the Big Brown. It's a private company, but United Parcel Service. I rose up in the ranks. I was actually a dock worker and a driver for UPS. I did that for about three years. Did a good job, and they said, David, we want you to train, and we want you to lead, and we want you to supervise and manage a lot of our operations. So I took that on, learned a lot about business, learned what it takes to really be accountable for the dime, for every penny, for every second. And the last assignment UPS I had is I trained leaders at United Parcel Service. I trained them on ethics, business practices, and I need to bring some of those skills to the city council members too. Okay, uh, <laughs> already spending too much of our okay, money. Okay, yeah. spending too much of our money. So yeah. we had that, but uh, you really, you're a lawyer now, correct? Yeah, you're uh, a lawyer. But you did, bloomer. you did, you did this. Uh, this wasn't uh, something you you had a full full career with United Parcel. So when did you become a lawyer? Well, I actually felt a real call and to come to Regent University and I studied their law program and about age 39 became a lawyer and with my business background and with my entrepreneur spirit and the can-do attitude I began to practice with no experience by the way I never recommend that but we've uh, we've served 12,000 people in this community Steve and most of its personal bankruptcy work chapter 7 and 13 and there's a great great uh, distress because of the economy a real hardship and that is the wrong time for city council to be raising taxes, putting new fees during this economic hardship and downturn. Oh, so uh, you've seen quite a bit. You've seen some real, I assume, heart-wrenching uh, stories with businesses coming in and everything you practice. Yeah, uh, neighbors and friends, people of all walks, of all faiths, all professions, just you know, losing jobs, losing overtime, and running out of money to even pay their bills. And that's why they come in to see us. How's that impacted you? Well, it's given me a great motivation to go in and get in public office and make sure that every dollar we spend is wisely thought out and planned, and then we're great stewards of the people's money. All right, for our viewers, if you know they take away from what would you, if there was just like one thing, one or, one or a couple things that they would take away about who is David McCormick, what would that be? Well, I care and have great compassion for folks. I grew up in a military family, an Eagle Scout. I still live the scout oath as well. I think the thing to know is I have a great variety of experiences over 35 years and I think it's catching on but people are saying David you're the seasoned leader we need to make a difference in City Council. Okay well sir I appreciate you taking the time here with On the Road in Hampton Roads thank you very much. Well thanks Steve and while we we're sitting here the temperature <laughs> dropped to 98. <laughs> okay thank you. Have a great day. All right, thank you.